I'm just finishing up my afternoon's work. I've edited a video and I'm about to send it to my editor. So I've got to compress the video and do a little bit of file management and about 15 or 20 minutes of worth of work to finish things off for the day. But it's only going to take me a few moments because I'm using a file management tool, an automation tool called NoodleSoft Hazel. I know it's a great name. NoodleSoft Hazel for the Mac. If you're in the Windows world, there's a very similar product called File Juggler that will do exactly what I'm about to show you. But if you want to create some processes to automate some file management systems to save you time almost every day of the week, stick around today on Dottotech. Steve Dotto here. How the heck are you doing this fine day? I'm just, as I said, I'm just finishing up a day's work. I've recorded a new video and I have to take that video and I now have to send it to my editor who's going to finish things up. Now there's lots of different administrative processes that we do on a daily basis on our computer that become repetitive tasks. Now there's some automation tools that are available for both Mac and Windows that can make those tasks really easy if you identify them and end up saving you a substantial amount of time. Now I don't use this particular tool for a lot of things. It's a tool that I bought. It's called NoodleSoft Hazel. It's an automated workflow organizer for my Mac. And just this one thing that I'm going to show you today makes it worth me purchasing this software on an annual basis. Would you like to see? Let me walk through how it all works. Effectively, it's all folder based. What happens is you have a file that you need to do something to. You need to modify the format of the document. You need to rename it. You need to organize it. What happens is we create a folder that has actions attached to the folder. And when we drag a file into that particular folder, then the action takes place and it's an entirely automated process. Let me show you the process that I am replicating and saving myself a fair amount of time on a daily basis with. I'm just going into my finder here, into my file management system, and here I've got a uh, I've got a disk, scratch disk, where I store all of my videos as I'm editing the videos. And this is the little video here that we're going to be working on in just a few moments right here. This is the video here. Now, typically speaking, what I do is I record one of these videos, like this one that I'm doing right now. I'll be doing this exact process with this a little bit later on, probably tomorrow. But once I've done a rough cut of the video in the video editing application, I take the editing file and I have to compress that file. I have to zip it into a single document and then share it with my, with my editor. And I can share it in Dropbox or some other file sharing service. Now, in order to do that, I manually would go in and I would right click on the, on the, um, on the file itself and I would say, compress. Now watch what happens. This is about a 17 gigabyte file that I'm about to compress here. And when I click on compress, it'll give me notification that it's going to take about seven minutes for it to compress the file. So typically speaking, I will just make sure that I hang around and maybe do a few other little administrative things while this file is compressing. Once it would be completed, I would then take this file and I would drag it into Dropbox and I would drop it in Dropbox. And then I would let Liz know that it's there. And it will take a little while for it to sync. But at that point there, most of the process is done. It doesn't seem like all that arduous a task, does it? Yet every time I do it, it takes seven to 10 minutes of time. And if we do say three videos a week, that's 30 minutes a week that I'm spending kind of in limbo doing this particular task. Let me show you how NoodleSoft works. It's a download that you can purchase it. Uh, well, how much does it cost? I forgot how much it cost. It cost $32 uh, is what I paid for Hazel. I purchased the software. I installed it and it installs as a, just as a utility within your computer. And it's here in the menu bar. And we can see right there is the menu for Hazel. And what it's doing is it is basically just monitoring what's happening on the computer, waiting for it to be told to do a process. Now this is the interface for creating the process. Now I created a folder. Uh, let me go back into that folder that, so you can see exactly where it is. On the scratch disk here, I created this folder here called compress and share. This is the folder that I created. Now it doesn't look like much, but effectively what happens is in Hazel, I choose the folder here in Hazel. I go in and choose the folder and then I assign a script. I create a script and it's a fairly simple scripting language 
But if you take a look here, it says uh, just a series of rules. It's not really a lot different than IFTTT or Zapier in some ways because when you start a process, then the next thing in line is going to happen. So when a file is dropped into compress and share, if it has any name at all, so if it's a file, then I want you to do these things. And the first thing I want you to do, and if I click on the, any of the commands, you can see the, an idea of the kind of the assortment of commands you have. I want to archive this. Now that's a kind of, a, it's a little bit of a misnomer here. I want to compress it, but it doesn't have a compress feature, but archiving is the exact same because it compresses the file as a part of the archiving process. So I want to archive it. That's step one. Once that is done, then I want to copy it into, and I designate a folder, I say into my Dropbox folder, or my share folder for Liz to work with. But I am smart. I go, you know what? I've got a huge backup machine. I'm going to back these files up at this point as well, just in case anything happens. So we always have this stage backup, my rough cut edit backup, which has all of the raw files in it. So I'm also going to make another copy of that and back it up onto my backup server. Now, as I say, if I was to do that with this particular file that we just looked at, it would take me probably 10 minutes or so to do. But all I do now is watch this. This is a thing of beauty. I'm going to take the file here. I'm going to drag it into the compress and share folder and I drop it. And as soon as I drop it, Hazel fires up. And in a few moments, we'll see a notification that Hazel is starting up. And I know that it is taking it. And you see how it's converted the other ones into zip files. It will start this entire process. I can go away now and know that this file is being uploaded and it will be there for Liz in the morning when she comes into the office. It is that simple a process. If you're unsure that it's happening, we can go in and we can view the log and we can see all of the different processes being launched and evoked here within Hazel as we go along. Now here's one thing that you need to think about when you start looking at using a tool like Hazel and in deciding if you're gonna invest $32 in purchasing an app like this, or as I say, the similar product in the Windows world, which is called File Juggler. How much does that cost? Let's quick check, quick check. I did, didn't check to see how much, uh, $40 in the Windows world. You pay a Windows premium, I, I suppose. You have to identify these repetitive tasks, but then just run the math in your mind. Let's think about it for a second. If I do three videos a week, that's three minutes a week that I can say using this. Three minutes a week, because I'm on Facebook, that's two hours a month. That turns into suddenly, holy cow, there's 110 hours, 52, 108, this is not good 52 times two, is 104 hours. <laughs> 104 hours of saved time a year. This isn't an inconsequential amount of time. Every single time we do a simple task, it might not seem like very much, but over the year, it really adds up. A simple tool like NoodleSoft Hazel can make things so much more streamlined. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. Take a look at other YouTube videos. So many people have great ideas of different ways to use Hazel for organizing their files. I use it for this alone and it makes it worthwhile. Imagine what you can do just by paying attention to your repetitive tasks and then applying a great automation tool like File Juggler or Hazel. I hope you found today's video to be useful. Share with me your favorite automation systems and tools in the comments below. I love to see your comments and suggestions. Remember to subscribe to this channel and make sure you ring that notification bell so you hear when we upload new videos. Till next time, I am Steve Dotto. Have fun storming a castle.